um, decision in perspective. I mean, he went the distance with Anderson. I think he's the only one at cage race to do so. That's right. He's yeah, Lee Murray showed a lot of guts in doing that. Tony Frickland coming out, realizing, if he didn't before, that Anderson is a southpaw. Tony, his weapon of choice to open things up would be a straight right. Tony circling away from Anderson's left high kick. Anderson being patient. Taking his time. See, this is, Fricklin is using a pretty good game plan so far. He hasn't really landed too much other than that, that little clipping low kick. But he's staying away from the power of Anderson. And that would be the straight left hand or the left roundhouse kick. Because he's moving to his left. That's right, the straight right hand left hook. Good counter to a sound ball, but this is what he's got to work against. So that's the way Silver's combinations pay off. Yeah, Silver's starting to put on the heat. Oh, good knee. Beautiful knees. We were just saying pre-flat, probably the most dangerous knees for a striker out there. Yep, and this is what Tony's got to do. He's got to keep his head up top. Okay, Tony going for a clinch. Tony's got to be careful here. He's this keeping his head up nice and high because if his head goes down low, it could eat a knee. But Anderson chopping the body. Yes, with those knees around to the side as well as the rib cage, burying the knees there. We saw him finish Jorge Rivera nicely from that same position. Good uppercut. uppercut, beautiful leg kick. And it, Flying knee and it landed! It's those leg kicks and a kick to the fight, a knee to the fight that drops Frickland. Silver asserting his world dominance here as champion. Oh, oh back and it's elbow. over. It's, it's over. Superb. This is why this man is middleweight champion.